you just learned that using a programming language is a lot like using a calculator. But numbers are far from the only things that we can calculate with using a programming language. I'm going to show you how to calculate with images instead. So just to recall, to calculate with numbers, we could either type them into the bottom half of Dr. Racket, that's the interactions window, like this, or we could type the same formulas with numbers into the top half of Dr. Racket, the definitions window. But if we type them into the top half, then they are more stable, we could save them, we could share them, and in order to uh, see what the results of them are, we have to click the run button. And then we can see the results in the interactions window down below. Okay, well images work fairly similarly. So uh, to show you, let me first get some images. Uh, what, one thing we can do is to go to the internet and search from some cute cat images. Let's see. This looks good. Yeah. Okay. This is a good cat image. I'm going to copy it. And just like with numbers, I could put this cat image in the interactions window. And I can get the same cat back when I hit enter or return. Or I could put a cat in the top half in the uh, definitions window and then when I hit run not only do I get the results of number formulas back I also get the image back okay but it's more interesting when we can operate on these images just like when we can operate on these numbers so how do we operate on images well we need to first get access to some operations that can operate on images uh, you cannot just divide an image. The division operation only works on numbers, not on images. But instead, what we can do is to type this incantation into the definitions window. Let's type left paren, and then now I need to give the name of an operation, and the name of the operation is require. Require means that I need to use a library. Please. Uh, bring in that library of operations. A library is a bunch of operations that someone has created and bundled together into what's called a library. And so I need to give the name of the library and it is to the number HTTP slash image. That's just the name of the library. And then finally I need to use the right parenthesis to close the require operation. Okay. Now uh, once I have written this line I can use operations from that library and there are many operations from the library that operate on images okay so for example uh, let's say I want to make this cat bigger or smaller there's an operation called scale that can help so to use this operation I'm gonna like with any other operation put left paren and then the name scale and now I need to put inputs to scale scale actually takes two inputs it takes uh, a number and an image uh, the number is how much to scale the image. So if I want to make the cat twice as tall, twice as wide, I'm going to put the number 2. And then the second input to scale is just the image to start with. And then when I close the left paren with the right paren, I'm done with uh, writing this scale operation. So I'm going to click Run to see what the result looks like. Okay, so that's a cat that is twice as tall and twice as big can barely see it uh, fit into this screen. Okay, if I want things to be a little bit smaller, maybe I only want the cat to be uh, 1.5 times tall and wide. Okay, or maybe I actually want a cat that is half as tall and wide. And I could do that by passing a different number to scale. Okay, now uh, as a reminder, what I just showed is that scale is an operation that takes a number and the image's input and returns an image. And that, what I just said about scale, can be abbreviated using this notation. Okay, this is called a signature for scale. Scale is an operation that takes a number and image as input and returns an image.
Okay, so that's one kind of uh, uh, operation uh, scale. There are other operations, uh, but they tend to take multiple in images as input. So to show them to you, I need some other images. Okay, so let's not use not worry about scale for now, but uh, get us some other images. So maybe instead of a cute cat, or in addition to a cute cat, let's also get a cute dog. Uh, this I like this one. Maybe I could copy. Great. And now I could put the dog in the same definitions window. Okay. So right now I have two images in the definitions window. And if I hit run, I just get both images back. Okay, big deal. But what's interesting is if I could combine these two images, and there are multiple ways to combine them. Okay. One way, I think it's gonna be helpful, is called overlay. So that's another operation. So I'm gonna put left paren, and then the name of this operation overlay, and then the input is a cat, and then the second input is a dog. Okay, so overlay is an operation that takes an image and an image and returns an image. Let's see what image it returns in this use. Ah, here we go. So you see, it put well, it overlaid the two images together. It put the cat image kind of on top of the, the dog image. So you can see all of the cat image uh, and only a tiny bit of dog, like only the two front feet, I guess. Okay. So that's overlay. And this is a good example to show that uh, order matters because if I want to uh, put the dog in front, if I want to see all of the dog and only a little bit of the cat, then what I need to do is to switch the order of the two inputs to overlay. So I'm going to cut this dog and put it in front, literally, of the cat. Okay, and now when I hit run, I'm gonna get a quite different image. Right, so now I see all of the dog and only a tiny bit of the cat. So that, those are um, effects due to the different order of inputs to the overlay operation. Okay. Now, just as with numbers, I could also chain operations that work on images. So for example, maybe I don't want the dog to be so big. I want the dog uh, to be a little smaller so I can see more of the cat, let's say. So what I can do is I could chain the overlay operation with the scale operation. So um, maybe I want to make the dog half as big and then put that image of the half as big dog on top of the cat's image. Ah, right. So now I get the dog kind of, uh, well, the smaller dog on top of the cat. Okay. Another operation that uh, uh, might uh, look useful at this point is to be able to put the dog not in the middle of the cat, but to the side. In general, we might want to specify where to put the dog in the cat image. Okay. So there's, there's an operation for that. Um, it's called place image. That's one word with a hyphen in the middle. Place image. So place image takes four inputs. Let me just show you what that might look like as a signature. Place image takes an image, a number, another number, and an image and returns the image. What does, how does that work? Well, um, the first input is an image, like what we want to put on top. So it's kind of like overlay in that the first input is an image that we want to put on top. So here we want to put the half as big dog as the first input. The second input is a number. It's actually the X coordinate for where to put the dog. Okay, and the third input is the Y coordinate for where to put the dog. So let's try some numbers. Let's try 50 and 40. Okay, you'll get a sense of what these numbers mean in a minute, but 50 is an X and 40 is a Y. 
basically. And the, the last input, the fourth input, is the image uh, to put the dog on top of. Okay, that's a cat. Okay, so so uh, now we have provided four inputs to the place image operation, which is what it requires. So now when I hit run, I'm going to get an image back because the signature says I'm going to get an image back. So here's the image I get back. Ah, okay. Yeah, okay. So you can see how the dog is uh, kind of to the side. Now I can see pretty much all of the cat and uh, all of the small dog. Okay. Uh, and if I want to, let's say, uh, move the dog a little bit down, what I need to do is to make the Y coordinate bigger. Why is it making the Y coordinate bigger? Well, the X coordinate is measured from the left to the right of the cat. So 0x means left edge of the cat. The Y coordinate, however, is measured from the top of the cat down. So 0y means the top of the cat. And then as y increases, it actually goes down in the cat. So if I want to move the dog further down into the, the cat image, I need to make the y number bigger. So like instead of 40, maybe 60. Let's try that. OK, so um, if you're really paying attention, you will see that the dog has moved a little bit down in the cat image. OK, so. Uh, that's another operation that you just saw, the place image operation.